Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Alistair H. Symington, Member of the Kirk Session, Minister Emeritus of the Trunold Parish Church and a Chaplain to the Queen in Scotland. I served as a Royal Air Force Padre when I was a young adult, 25 years when I entered the service and four years I spent grew me up in a major way. Back then, we confronted two foes, the Soviet threat and the IRA. Each was ever present, but in different ways, and certainly very different to the head-on confrontational conflicts we've faced in more recent times. And so there were few headlines and a few support groups for servicemen. Ours was a quiet job, and we got on with it. But in this period, when we come towards our national remembrance, and services, it's always a time for me to look back to these days and to remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in order to be prepared to meet the foe. I remember this month a young pilot officer who served with me at Lynham. We were the same age and both preparing for our respective weddings. He was from up here in Scotland and we had a lot in common. He attended the station church and decided to be confirmed into the Christian faith. And so he was. And his family came to Wiltshire from up here, and we had the service and a celebration lunch in the mess afterwards. Four days later, he was killed in a training run. Not a war hero, not mentioned in our newspapers or on our television, but killed on exercise to be prepared to do his job for real, if required. His parents and fiancé were back in the mess with me now arranging his funeral, which was held with due military honours. This month, I remember him vividly still, even though it happened 40 years ago. Our servicemen in every generation, whether in times of real conflict or in what was called euphemistically peacetime, do this nation well in the past and now. It is a century since the most terrible of all wars stripped Great Britain of a generation of young adults. And between now and then, the spirit of service has never wavered. But for me, the memory is of the unsung and the unknown, and especially of a young Scotsman who looked forward to life as I did, but was cut short in service. He has not grown old as I did, Age has not wearied him, nor have the years condemned. But at the going down of the sun and in the morning, I will remember him. The next item of business.